Hi guys, we're here at the Mississippi River in Iowa of all places. We crossed this bridge right here. Hey, what's up guys? Make sure to watch this entire video. We do the whole, do the whole trip. <laughs> We got the GOAT, greatest of all time poker player and a very good friend of ours. We love this guy, nicest guy you'll ever meet, I'm telling you. Folks, I gotta tell you, you guys watching this know that this is a really nice couple. You know that, <laughs> but just like when it comes to me, the bad boy of poker, right? <clears throat> nicknamed Poker Brat, which I gave myself that nickname. There's some percentage of the public that's like, oh, that guy's an asshole. No. No, not good guys, <laughs> and the poker world knows that I'm a really good guy too. Yeah, so. he is. He's the nicest. I, I don't even care about the poker world when it comes. It just as a human being, he's the nicest person you'll ever meet. And anyway, we're just I'm just so happy that he's in our life. But now we're gonna take you to Rivers Casino because we're gonna open up the poker room. He's gonna MC. And he's gonna say a bunch of funny stuff, and we're just gonna play a whole <laughs> bunch of poker, you know. And then, then we're gonna take you on a tour of Chicago and Illinois and. Iowa and Wisconsin is going to be a really fun video, so make sure to watch the entire thing. If you haven't followed him yet and you want to see some cool poker stories and follow one of the best, uh, um, Phil Helmut uh, Positivity on Instagram, right? Yep. That's and then find him on Twitter and then just join him. Good guy, good person to follow. I like everything better. We're at the poker then. Two famous bears right here. So funny story. I talk about in my videos sometimes. <laughs> Remember when I bought the 2,000 bears balls that nobody wanted? I paid like two bucks a piece. One mine. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't a team. <laughs> You know, he's a really good guy. I'm going to bust him. Up. But do you, do you remember how the record was for that season? Uh, I was, it was probably like 13 and 3. It was 1 and 15. It was 1. You were close. You were close. You switched the numbers, added a couple. And I'd say your name right again because I'm going to mess it up. Ahmad Merritt. Ahmad Merritt. But, he, he, you know, that's when you see a true athlete because it's easy to win in anything. This man played good, played his heart out when they were losing, and he put it on the field every time. And it, it, uh, I'm sorry, I had to break it to you. I'm in denial, but it was 1 and 15. I remember because I got a really good deal. But then forward to the next year, my main man right here, Rashid also, Davis. Rashid Davis. He was <laughs> balling his heart out. They were going to the playoffs and then the following year, the Super Bowl. They yes, lost sir. in the Super Bowl. And guess who made a lot of money with $2 Bears balls? Uh, this guy. This guy, guy right here. Guys, yeah. Guys. Gotta go. I right. gotta go. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, guys, so the break is in. We survived three levels. She has like 40 or 50,000 in chips, something crazy like that. I have 13,000. I had 17,000. Then I made a dumb dumb. I lost some chips, and we got 13,000. So, guess what? I took an add on for another 2,500. Support the casino, support the tournament. She has so many chips, add on doesn't make sense. Now I gotta survive because if she outlasts me, it's a long flight. Home. Guys, just for the record, your boy, I busted. <laughs> right here. Okay? Hey, sis. We get it all in pre flop. Come here. This guy calls me all in. 90% of his chips. Hey, he's just the garbage he calls me with. Twice. He's done it twice. Look at that. All right, guys, we had a great tournament. We're gonna show some sounds and stuff like this, but they had a lot of copyright music, so I gotta figure it out. Casey Cash, 1500. Yeah. I had my aces cracked, which hopefully you guys get to see. Don played really good. You kind of came close to the money, right? Not close enough. Yeah, me too, not close enough. But check it out, it's like a super nice guy. He's one of the founders, the CEOs, the El Presidente, <laughs> right, of Bitcoin Latinum. You guys know, we talk a lot about cryptocurrency on my channel. Check it out, where can they see it, the website? The website, BitcoinLatinum.com, it's on nine exchanges. All right, so guys, <laughs> if you guys see this, this man in any poker room, it's my new friend, Ryan, sick player. So this was, should we say who was against or should we not say? You can say. It was against I mean, Cantu, okay? He's, you know. The board is 6688 deuce with a flush hitting the river. It was an insane bet. That was about maybe $10,000 in the pot, right? About $10,000? Yeah. Yeah. Can two ships the river? You can't squeeze back, guys. Can. 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 Can two ships the river for like twelve or thirteen thousand dollars? What does Linehead do with a ten high flush? By the way, the board is six six eight eight deuce. My man calls the Linehead. Snap calls his ass and turns over. And I'm sitting right next to him. He's turning over a ten high flush. I'm like that ain't no good. And and Ken two goes like. This guy, man, I don't know where you got the poker skills. You got the like the TV skills, the poker skills. This, this guy's right got here. everything. Yes. My beautiful sidekick. And good luck, Charm, man. You, you, you don't miss. You and don't look, miss. we got the goat in the background. 
Did, did you hear about the hand that Ryan made all his money? No. So we, we're going to describe it to the goat, okay? What did he do? No, look, you're holding, you're, you're holding, you're holding 10 seven of hearts. There's $10,000 in the pot. The, the board is, this is the goat win. This is like Michael drawing a poker, guys. <laughs> the board is 8866 eight, deuce with a flush heart hitting in the river. Ryan checks, you're holding, oh no, you check. Can two ships it all in like thirteen thousand dollar bet, twelve thousand dollar bet on the river? And he had a nine high flush, right? Yeah, he had a nine high flush. <laughs> Did you really like you just told call me that? that? He told oh. me that. He told me that. <laughs> One of our new future goats right here, Lionheart. I'll, I, see, you, I'll see you in Vegas. Yeah. We'll, we'll meet at a final table. We'll take Phil down. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the goat. That's all we go for. I just want to get. I got goat in the hand, guys. I had trip deuces. I overbet it just to be nice, but I got him. I got some of Phil's money today. Yeah. Anyway, Ryan, so nice to meet you. Right. Great meeting you too, bud. We just sucked us in, right? Okay, Alright, Renee's never had an oyster, so here we go, guys. Okay, guys, I always thought this was gross, I'm gonna be honest, but I tell my daughter all the time to try new foods, and I don't wanna be a hypocrite, so I'm gonna eat some oyster. This is a very fancy restaurant, so I'm assuming these are gonna be really good oysters, but honestly, I don't know the difference. I usually love eating everything, but I'm a little nervous about this, so we're just gonna do it. Uh, I just swallowed it. I don't really taste well, it. I don't anything. know that you saw it. I mean, is that true? Or is that. Uh, it has really no taste. I'm going to have to eat a second one because I, I, I didn't buy it. What is this? putting flavor on it. I cheated the first time. I was scared, guys. I can't lie. I can tell. I just swallowed it. <laughs> hey, no stupid jokes in the comments, guys. <laughs> Remember, we're a family channel. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite this time and bite it a couple times. Here we go. Okay. Honestly, it's actually really good. It's, it's different. It's like yeah. it again. Okay, guys, so they convinced me to try one too, and I'm like, no way, it's gross. I'm scared. Who, who's sitting next to you? My new best friend. Tom. Big, big storage wars fan, big team bargain at the supporter. Yeah. Okay, guys. Nice. <laughs> no, you gotta take the whole thing and just slurp it in. Right? No, you just put your lips on these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first, first okay, get it so it's loose. Sauce, yeah. uh -huh. First get it so it gets loose on the, on the shelf. All right. Where's the Here alcohol to chase this down? <laughs> I chew it a little bit. It's good, right? It's good. <laughs> winner, winner. Uh -huh. what, what do you rate it as, Tom? First oyster experience, good or bad? I would say good. Awesome. We got a winner. All right, guys, so we're going to take another little bit because yesterday we had all the music. We don't know about the copyright stuff. We are back at Rivers Casino, the new poker room. My good friend over here, Hemel, he's the poker room manager. He's going to welcome you. Is there anything we should know about the poker room? Yeah, guys, uh, this is a highly anticipated uh, poker room. I want to welcome everybody. And uh, we, this room is going to be amazing. Please reach out how we can cater to you. But this is going to be your destination for poker. So welcome. And I'm going to put the website in the link below. This casino, this poker room is just absolutely amazing. And I'm not just saying that because we're here and they're taking care of us, but you think you're in Vegas and you think you're like in one of the high, high, high end places. There's a steakhouse down there. I think it's called Hugo's, Hugo's. right? Yes, sir. It is out of this world. We ate there twice. Oh my God, I'm so glad I don't live in Chicago. I would get even fatter. It's embarrassing. And then the poker room, super comfortable chairs, great air, great decor. You guys can see it all, the lights and everything. And then on top of it, on top of it, the staff is super nice, friendly. It's just, if you're in Chicago, you like gambling, check out Rivers Casino. You're going to love it. They pretty much offer everything you can desire, right? Yes, sir. All right, thank you, guys. You. Link below. Thank you, Hamel. Thank you. What's up, guys? So we got done opening up the Rivers Poker Room. Amazing casino, amazing poker room. You guys got to go there. If, you, if you're in the Chicago area, just do yourself a favor. Go eat in check the Check out the casino. It's beautiful. You Even, feel like you're in Vegas. It's really nice. Check out the steakhouse. Oh, yeah. The oh steakhouse. My God. Wow. The filet mignon, the crab legs, to die for. Anyway, you guys think I don't want to talk too much about food. You guys just make fun of me then. <laughs> but if you want to take a nice date, play some poker, it's the place to go to. Now we're gonna head down to Town Hall, Chicago. We did all the roll stuff around. We're gonna to go to Chicago. We have a night, had a nice dinner tonight with a friend of ours. Um, and then we're gonna check out the waterfront, right? Yeah, Renee's tired. You can tell his energy's low. I've been playing high stakes poker all night. Slept three hours. 
killed it at the game, guys. Oh, yeah. Absolutely killed it. Um, but yeah, I'm on three hours rest, so. Let's go head downtown, let's go. I wanna go to the waterfront, so I need some fresh air, I need to, you know, when you grind that much or you calculate that much, and you know, some players will understand, and a lot of people will say, you're not good at poker, which is fine. Yeah, but, keep on talking. Yeah, but like, you calculate so much. In the I, I'm, I'm worn out, so I just need to go to nature. I love the lake. I just need to rejuvenate a little bit, get get that jolt. And then uh, tomorrow we want to do the Sears Tower, which is called the Wilson Tower, I think, or Willis Tower or something. I think Willis Tower, I think that's what it's called. So keep on watching the videos because we're going to more locations. Look at Casey. She just found out that the Chicago water is wet. It's not that cold. It's not cold? It's amazing how, how wavy this full lake, right? Lake Michigan? And it's so cold, it's 41 degrees out, and I'm a California girl, and this doesn't feel cold. I was surprised, I thought the water was gonna hurt when I touched it, and look, my hand's still good. That's awesome, it feels so strong, like so, it has like a different vibe than the ocean, like it feels, I don't know, maybe we're lower to it, or the sea level's well, really high. Look at how beautiful the color is, wow, it's awesome. very clean. Okay guys, so now we're back in Chicago. Yeah. Actually, we're downtown Chicago now the ocean lake michigan in the back because the one thing we really love is lake michigan i'm also happy to report for everybody who watches no trip would be complete without rosa yeah i'm really Mom. lucky mother-in-law found me this is great so happy you found us the two monkeys in the background tatiana and then rosa came all the way up from texas just wow. happened to run into us we tried to keep this trip a secret. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. We told him to come. Anyway, Chicago downtown. Bye bye. Oh, look at that thing out there in the water. Is that a ferry? What is that? All right, did it just come? I don't know. I don't know. It's not always there. Uh, you know what? Casey asked me questions like I'm just like totally expert here. Oh, the Ferris wheel. I've been here. Oh, Ferris. I don't know if you can see it. Ferris wheel. All the Chicago okay. skyline. My hands are starting to fall off. It's not that cold. Come on, you're German. Okay, guys, we're frozen. <laughs> so <laughs> Tatiana was like, it's not that cold out here. So we're like, let's take her for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> she was the first one running back to the car. She's like running back to the car. She's like, it's windy out here. I'm like, do you know what the city's called, Anna? Chicago. Wait, but that's not necessarily true because, yes, I Hey, did. don't I change was, the I story, was, bro. No, I was bro. the first one back to the car. Yeah. Here's the thing. I wasn't necessarily freezing until it got windy. Okay, do you want to go for another walk? We can if you want to. I will. Hey, I'm German. I I I just my my motor just shuts down when it's freezing. I'm okay my with it. My face feels like I put icy hot mm. all over my cheeks, and now I just burn. <laughs> I know. Right? Do you know what the nickname of the city is? Shy Town. Besides that, Chicago. That's the name of the city. The Windy City. It's called the Windy City for a reason. <laughs> when it picks up off the water, we understand now why. I don't see that many kites flying though. Yeah, because it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, to my surprise, I mean, I know Wisconsin has a lot of German influence, but we're at the Botanical Garden over here, and over here is Schiller Park, which I'm like, that's a German poet, isn't it? Schiller Park. Park. So I'm like, why would Schiller be in a Chicago park? But again, apparently, Chicago has German poets. And then over here is the Botanical Garden. They wouldn't let us in. They said you have to make an appointment. Is it botanical or botanical? I don't know which one you pronounce, but I think it was wrong. It's botanical. They wouldn't let us in, so it's botanical. <laughs> they wouldn't let us in, but here's Shella Park, German poet. Yeah, and then here's the Lincoln Park Zoo right there. Oh, we don't want to go to a zoo right now. But that's no. where you belong. <laughs> that's where I belong. It's okay, I'll swim with the hippos. I don't care. We got San Diego Zoo. It's going to be a smart after the whole day. Yeah. Is this what's happening? What's new? I'm just leaving you in Chicago. You can make it. It's a big city. I like the wind here. I can fly kites. I can be oh. the only one in the city. Yeah, go fly a kite. <sighs> Check it out. It's the other side of the skyline. Cloudy. This is like in April. Crazy, right? Now behind the Swiss Hotel, you see a building with wavy white balconies cascading down. This is Aqua Tower. Aqua Tower was also designed by Jeannie Gang of Studio Gang. That's her artistic style, that wavy look. Each of those wavy white balconies was precisely measured and calculated using GPS technology. Okay, just 
for the entrance. So what do you do when you're in Chicago? You go to the Medieval Torture Museum. <laughs> yeah, but let's just remember who chose it. <laughs> Tatiana no, and my that's nephew. Not me. Ta yeah. Tatiana chose it and Mikey. We let them pick one item. It's like, where do you guys want to go to? And they were like, Medieval Torture Museum. So let's go check it out. What's up, guys? One of our first locations. Check it out in your background. Uncle Buck's house. If you guys haven't seen a movie, one of the greatest John Candy movies up there, it's number two. Now we're gonna go to the number one location, but we're just doing like a little lot. Okay guys, we're at our second location. This is probably our favorite John Candy movie, can we agree? Yes. Yeah. Planes, trains, and automobiles. This is the house they finally came home to. We feel so weird, because this is just like a regular neighborhood, and like there's like no tourist thing. Just like, Yay! But we're just out there filming. And, and remember- it's a cool neighborhood too. Oh, it's yeah. a super cool neighborhood. Casey's like, we should move here. So check it out. It's like just the whole neighborhood. And then at the end of the movie, remember when they come carrying down the street? <laughs> right here, it's like all snowed in and they just get to, tr to um, they come down the street with the trunk. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, it's neat. We're like really big geeks, but can't help it. All right, let's go to our next location. I think we're gonna try to find a home alone house because mm -hmm. everything seems yeah. to be in this area. Oh my God. I gotta do jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Tatiana's freezing. So oh. now, right down the road from the John Candy houses is Lake Michigan. So last, our last meet and greet was across the lake and up further north than Petowski, right? Yeah, Petowski. What's the Michigan. biggest city name? There's another city. Uh -oh. Traverse City, that's what it was. Oh yeah. Traverse City. So now look how big is it like it's so vast it looks like it's an ocean but it's a lake. It's an I ocean. can't feel my face. It's okay. Hey you German, enjoy the freezingness. Check this out guys, look how vast it is. And over here is the girl the profiling styling. <laughs> is there Taking anything that lives water. in this water? No, of course there's something that lives in the water. <laughs> how can they do it? it? <laughs> you ever you ever heard of a term called fish? Nessie, the long nest. No, that would be Scotland. I know. No, there's, it's full of stuff. The, actually, I think there's a sort of shark in this lake too, but don't quote me on this. But for some reason, I feel like yeah, there's, there's sharks in lakes. 2022. No, there's not. In this lake, there is just some sort of shark that somehow got in here. Megalodon. But it's not like a great white or anything. It's a megalodon. Okay. That's why. That's the only lake that can hold it. My lips are gonna turn purple. Oh my god. Hey. Look, there's steam coming out of that thing. What is that? I have no idea, but it's cool. Probably wow. somebody cooking like bodies downstairs. Secret Stop compartment. It. Hey Casey, you wanna take this opportunity and tell them to subscribe? Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. <laughs> are you freezing? No. It's good. <laughs> my eyes are tearing up a little bit, but it's good. It's not that cold. Oh. Okay guys, I'm so happy right now because I thought we were the only weird people taking pictures in front of houses. But check it out. What's your name? Yep, Summit. What? <laughs> Paul, Paul's name, Shamek. 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 Shamek is with a big crew from Poland. Yeah. And they're all in front of the Home Alone house. We are a band. Uh -huh. You're what? We are a band. Music a music band? band? Yeah, music yeah. band. Yeah. Band. Yeah. band. Oh, nice. So famous in Poland? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the band? Play, Playboys. 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 With, with S at the end. <laughs> okay, the Playboys from Poland. So we're yeah. going to check it out on YouTube oh. right now. You guys have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Where can they find you? Uh, Playboys. 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 Yes. Yeah. S at the end. Yeah. S at the end? Yeah, Playboys. Okay. So guys, let's show them some Storage Wars Team Bargain Hunters love. You guys go on YouTube, <laughs> find the Playboys from Poland. <laughs> Bunch of good looking guys, all skinnier than me. <laughs> <laughs> and let, let's go check out the channel and give them a subscription. So, but yeah, thanks for checking out. And they're big Storage Wars fans too. He was like, look at him. He's like, do we know each other? <laughs> I'm like, that one time on the train in Poland with the cheesecake and vodka, it was weird, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> but no, let's show him some love. Let's subscribe to Poland. Um, not Poland, but the Playboys. Playboys. Yeah. The Playboys, yeah. perfect. But check it out. We're in front of the Home Alone house right here. Check it out. It's our third house. You guys seen planes, trains, and automobiles? And now we're in front of the Home Alone house and a bunch of people are taking pictures. Yes, yeah, so how this has become a John Keani video. Yeah. I don't know. We were supposed to go on a meet and greet to Chicago and all of a sudden we're just like taking pictures of strangers' houses, which is really weird. But we haven't got arrested yet, so that's really cool. And yeah, what's the next thing? That's the church up there too. So I think oh, yeah. the church is right around the corner here too, so we're going to go check it out. There's a no gun sign. That's funny. 
I know, like everywhere else. Like Who would other. bring a gun to the U.S. The, the, the guy's house? Well, a lot of people have carry permits. Home of our 18th president. He was a president. Yeah, you didn't know that. No. After the Civil War. But I think his cabinet, his uh, administration was very corrupt. Yeah. If, I, if I remember right. First Lady Julia Dent Grant, born January 26, 1826. <laughs> of course, guys. Monday. We're here Mondays. That's okay. We were driving along and we happened to see this, so we thought we'd stop. It's kind of cool, right? Ulysses Grant used to walk this street. 18th president. Yep. I wonder what he did for her. Uh, America. You don't have to wonder, they got history books. <laughs> <laughs> well, he changed the Civil War with new tactics, more aggressive tactics. Yes. Yeah. Then he became president, but I don't remember much about his presidency, but I'm pretty sure he was known that his cabinet was very corrupt. If I remember that right. Well, they have history books, so. We, yeah. we could check, somebody on YouTube get from that. And I feel he was a one-term president, but again, I could be wrong. The stone wall right here is kind of cool. Look how nice this little town. <laughs> That's Galena down there. We're gonna go there after the Mississippi. Look how old. I love stuff like this. All right, let's find, go to the Mississippi, guys. Hi guys, we're here at the Mississippi River in Iowa, of all places. We crossed this bridge right here, and now we're in Iowa. Isn't that cool? Look at how fast it is. The Mississippi River, Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer. Yeah. You're great at pronouncing stuff and spelling stuff, so can you just spell us Mississippi, please? Okay, Daryl, calm your butt down. M -I -S 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 can you spell Iowa? Spell Iowa. Do, do, do we really want to play this game? Spell Iowa. I -O -W -A. 9 times 74. Iowa Wait. Yeah, we don't have that much nine footage. 9 times 74 or 9 times 4? We don't, we'll get back in about 15. Yeah, 9 times 4, Nana. That's what I'm trying to challenge you at 16. Wait, <laughs> yeah. What is 9 times 4? She's calculating. 36? Yeah. <laughs> She's calculating it right now. <laughs> Mississippi River is super awesome. I gotta write this down though. Uh, we gotta go find some food because it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't eat anything yet, so. I'm hungry. Uh -huh. hungry. We'll find some food and then we're gonna go back to Galeen or whatever it was. Galena. So we're gonna find like a snack because there's restaurants out there. Oh, that's the Coast Guard. Oops. Well, here's the Coast Guard of um, Iowa. Pretty nice. Wy Wyconda. Interesting. This is the steamboat we wanted to show you guys. Pretty massive, pretty big. So, it's a steamboat. I don't really know what to say about the steamboat, in all honesty. William M. William M. Black. Oh, it doesn't look like it runs. Maybe it just sits there. It's, steam it's just steamy. That's what we have to say. Little lodge. We'll show you guys some next clips. Come on. We drove by a small town to Guns Guns Pawn Shop. Two more pawn shops that way. We have to check it out. That's a thick door. All right, guys. That was a bust. I was just telling little Tatiana back in the day before the internet and when it was just starting. You used to go to these small little cities and stuff like this and go to antique shops and pawn shops and find like really cool stuff. Now, I mean, you go in here, this is kind of like not that populated, but every video game that's left is just sports games and everything is pretty much eBay prices or higher. Yeah. So, and like there's not that much cool stuff anymore. As soon as they find anything cool, it goes on the internet, which I get, you got to do your business. But I used to, I used to love hunting for cool, unique stuff, but just goes on eBay these days, but it was a cool little trip. So, but we left the city here to show some more of the architecture. So I think now what you do, like the treasure hunting is seeing the architecture, seeing the sites, but it's very unlikely you scorn unless you go to some estate sale or something. Hey guys, another location, another Casey, an oh! <laughs> <laughs> another daughter. Another clumsy Renee. Thunder Bay Falls. Outside of Galena. Okay, Nana, go swim. Okay. Hold your mirror. Don't do it. You, you trip. We're not rescuing you. Look okay, at I was making out a kid. Break your nose. Really pretty. But we're like the only tourists here, which is crazy. In California, there'd be like 1,900 people. Oh. 
Hey guys, when Galina and I'm with Amelia. Amelia, um, she does a ghost tour down here, right? Yes. So she was telling us about all the haunted places, and you also got a theater company going on. Yes, Amelia's under the Lamplight Dinner Theater. There's a murder mystery you have to solve. But if people come to Galena, they definitely should check you out because she's super nice. And how can they find you? Maybe phone number for reservations or something? 815-99-HAUNT. Ooh. Or ameliastours.com. <laughs> ameliastours.com. So check them out. And then it's kind of, it's a scary time down here in Galena. Yes, it is. Okay, guys. We're about to go into the DeSoto house. It's somewhere down the street. It's supposed to be haunted. Scary. This is our house, the Candy Carnival. We're all clowns here. <laughs> Funny. But it's also the oldest operating hotel in Illinois. But it's definitely supposed to be haunted, so let's go check it out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get killed for this joke. But uh, check it out. This is actually Casey's great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> Can you tell the resemblance? Oh my god. Galena downtown. So we find a really cool antique store, hopefully. Good, yeah? Oh, wow. oh that helmet is cool. I need to. I see something in here I've never seen before. Oh my god, what That's is it? First. Can I we don't... film in here? Oh yeah, I don't care. Uh, go, go, ahead. Yeah, go right ahead. What is this? Is this like a mailbox? Cause look. No. That's probably for a truck store. It was for a hardware store. Hardware store, okay. Yeah, it's all the different sizes for the screws, bolts, all that kind of thing. And it's a lazy Susan, so it spins. Yeah, isn't that's that super neat? cool. And, and it's one. On the bottom, and right? the, it's all one piece. So that's whoever so cool. buys it, I don't know how we're going to move this thing. I hope I'm not working. <laughs> that's cheap, want... actually. It's Yeah, it's really reasonable. From the 1800s. Well, wow. just because it draws and stuff like. Yeah. This is the All funniest right. thing I've ever seen, like in a tourist attraction, okay? Not that I'm objecting, I'm just saying it's funny. So you got candy shops and restaurants and antique stores and... Linen. Mexican and... restaurant, the market house and the haunted hotel. And right down Main Street, you got the Naughty Kitty. They're selling women's lingerie. The whole thing is like, all the window is crotchless, lingerie, G-strings. <laughs> it's like... Little Billy, eight years walking by. Ooh, haunted house. Is that crashless underwear? What the hell is going on? So I've never seen that in a tourist attraction. That's a new one. Galena, baby. Check this out, guys. So we're in the city called Rockford right now. We're driving back to Chicago. And we just found this big old factory. Goes down there, too. So that's something that maybe one day we'll do in the channel. Like, I think it would be super fun just to, like, jump the fence, go through the factory, see the timepiece where it stopped, where life has stopped. But honestly, you probably should be strapped. It's like a lot of noise coming off. It's weird because you never know who's in there or dogs or anything like that. So, probably should have something for protection just in case. But right there, that's really cool. Hey guys, so we just found this right here in Lake Geneva. Lots of shopping and stuff like this. But this over there, the church, you see, well, it's not a church anymore. It's a bar now. It's called Topsy Turvy, or Turvy Topsy. Topsy Turvy, I'm pretty sure. It's a brewery. But somebody actually took a church and converted it into a bar. I don't know. I think that's questionable business moves. But here's a real church. Actually, really beautiful. Looks like an old English church. All right, guys. Lake Geneva. Renee, show them how clear the water is. It is super clean. Super clean. It's beautiful. Yeah, I just want to jump into swimming, but I know it's probably below freezing. And, and we just found out that that mansion over there is one of the Wrigley homes. Let me see if I can see. There we go. You know, um, Wrigley's Bubblegum, Wrigley's there Field. The, right? From Chicago? Yeah, Wrigley's Field. They, they own, like, I think the Chicago Tribune. And yeah, isn't the lake stuff. beautiful, guys? Yes, the lake is <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's actually big. I mean, it's not as big as Lake Tahoe, I think. No. Or maybe it is. I don't know. It's pretty. No, Lake Tahoe is way bigger. But this is a good sized lake. Yeah, this is really nice. I bet it's a lot of fun to come out here in the summer. Well, they said condos here is like only like $100,000 for a condo. Yeah. Just to have it, uh, Airbnb it. Be cool.
beautiful stuff. Guys, this is one of my favorite scenarios. It is windy. Look at Tanyana. Look at Casey. She's getting ready to look, go to the Arctic. But it's windy, it's stormy, and it's cold. Sign me up. And look at how uh, all the current is. The waves. So we should make a video here with fans. You have to wear shorts and a t-shirt and just conditions. And whoever leaves the bench last gets like $2,000 sold there. Wow. What do you think about that? You're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't be in it. I don't know. There's some hardcore fans out there. It'll pay for a tank of gas. Yeah. It'll be in California. Look at this. Like the water's not coming at us in our direction, it kind of just looks like it's coming up. It's going it, yeah, it's really low it's over like here. It's magnetized up, you see what uh, I mean? Yeah. It's much more stormy on this side than that side of the lake. Yeah. We'll walk up here, see if the things are stable. Yeah, what if they're not? Okay. I wouldn't do that. All right, guys, can't help it. AJ Sports and Collectibles in Genosha, Wisconsin. Super nice guys. We just stayed in there. We talked to them, right? Yeah, Renee couldn't help but go see a sports card store. And now we're going to try to get another one really quick. Tatiana, put in directions. I think it should be okay. 10 minutes around the corner. Mm -hmm. It doesn't close for another 30 minutes. So action figures. We'll check it out real quick. Hey, guys, we just found a really cool store, Marbleheads. Fun. Yeah, everything like toys from the 80s to like way modern stuff. So I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can check it out. But if you're in the Genosha area, Wisconsin, and you like vintage choice and stuff, you gotta check it out. Oh, okay. all kinds of fun stuff in here. So we'll just show you guys some videos so you can see what's in here. Oh, look at that Mr. Peanut, that's really cool. Oscar Mayer. Superman record player? Yeah, some really cool records back here too. They're actually priced pretty reasonably. I mean, 35 bucks for that album, so in California we'd get 40, maybe 50. So it's reasonably priced, especially for a store that specializes in this stuff. Count calorie, that's funny. Oh, we found a bunch of these dogs in Storage Wars, if you remember. I like the one on the dog. Yeah, that's cool. Like, if we, if that was closer to home, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I remember. As a kid, you'd sit on the bench and take a picture with it. Yeah. Does anybody know who... Sparkly is seven up. Never yeah, seen I've that. never seen that before. Pac Mania sign that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 60 bucks, not bad. Oh, yeah, the Ronald McDonald's totally cool. Oh, you like it? Yeah, how much is that Ronald McDonald? He's not for sale, he's not for ah, it's <laughs> not, not yet. So, you guys got to come in here and make a crazy, crazy offer. Like I used to say in my store. This is not for sale, but everything is for sale eventually. <laughs> Mighty Matilda. See, I like stuff like that. Oh, wow. Remco. They all pop in. That's from my childhood. Board games. All right, guys, so I won't do a long video on this, but you can see this is a huge store. Like, if you like vintage toys, you're in this area in Wisconsin, do yourself a favor. It's probably about an hour from Chicago, from where we are. We're outside of Chicago. You want to stop by. I mean, this it, is packed. And there's old and new. But I'm going to have to turn off this camera because I want to look. Huh? Look at all our stuff. No, yeah, it's all 1980s, 1970s. Some really cool stuff. I'm going to turn it off now. Just also be respectful of the store. Okay, guys. Tatiana. Look at We found a lighthouse in Wisconsin. And guess what? We didn't know it, but we were blocks away from um, Lake Michigan. Yeah, so Casey's like, I think this is body water. We really didn't pay Wait, attention. Wait, is this Lake Michigan? Yeah, it's Lake Michigan. It's Lake Michigan. Oh, yeah. that's why it looks like an ocean. Look at how vast oh, it is. Wow. It's just one little section. On the other side, it's really huge. And you can't even see the other end over there either. Yeah, and who, yeah, if you guys are wondering, we're right now we're in Kenosha, Wisconsin. There's some swimmers over there. Huh? How's the water? I don't think those are swimmers. Those are swimmers. Yeah. Those are ducks. They're still swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really beautiful. Like, I love Lake Michigan. I love to feel. It's not as freezing as it was the other day, right? When we were in Illinois? Yeah, no, because our eyes aren't crying. Uh -huh. 
it, it was more windy over there than it was. Yeah. yeah, so really pretty. Hope you guys enjoyed this lighthouse in Genosha. Say bye. Hey guys, so we did it. We stopped at this place called the Broad Stop. Right here, this is outside of Kenosha in Wisconsin. After 50. It's really good. If you're in the area, I highly recommend it. So Two good. thumbs up. They've been in business for like over 20 years, I believe. We had the Broadwurst, which was amazing. Then we met a whole bunch of local Star Wars fans, which is pretty crazy. Midwest, Midwest always shows a lot of love. And, and you know, I can't get over how nice everybody's been in so Wisconsin. Nice. Yeah, this Everybody's old, really kind, just like real genuine people. Yeah, this older gentleman went to buy us because they also have a deli shop here. So he came back, he's like, you gotta take these cheeses home with these meats. But it's like several things, yeah, which was, sweetheart. don't do it if you meet us. We appreciate it, but it's like, uh, you don't have to buy us anything. We really appreciate it, it's awesome. But that was really nice of them. And then we have the food, which is good, right? Yeah, super good. Really so good. if you're out here in Wisconsin on Highway 50 and you can see, you see the bread stuff, Stop by, Stop it's by. well worth it.